everybody. This is Bo back in the lounge. Want to say hello to our 1.5 million listeners. Greatly appreciate it. We're going to go all the way out to Eastern Washington, get a chance to talk to head football coach Bo Baldwin. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Coach, thanks for taking the time out of your schedule. It looks like you probably have a, a ton of freshmen showing up right now. We do. We actually, uh, and we're actually a little bit later, so we're doing all the preparation for it. Our freshmen come in on Wednesday the 12th, probably two or three days later than, than most of the schools. But um, um, we're, uh, we're still really busy these two days just preparing for that. Well, Coach, I'm sure that you got every last second coming down to it right now this week to make sure that you get your two-a-days all set up. you got your varsity squad practicing in the weight room. You've got some leaders in that house that are pretty much taking over the uh, coaching responsibilities while you all free yourself up and draw some more X's and O's. It's got to be a pretty crazy time for the beginning of school. It is. Um, it's, it's fun, though. And uh, for us, it's uh, we're on quarters, so we actually have – these guys come in here and it's all football for a, for quite a while because our first day of classes is, is until September 23rd which obviously is a lot later than the semester schools but it's a uh, it's a good time of year and uh, for the next uh, oh five almost six weeks we get a lot of football in. <laughs> now coach after last season you took some game notes back and you re looked at re-put down on a piece of paper you've gone out and recruited some athletes but before we get to those new faces showing up on campus in the next week who are those guys in the locker room right now that are really doing a nice job of putting your squad back in its groove well i mean it starts out i mean every every senior on this team first off has, has done a great job i mean it's whether you want to say it's a talented group, which it definitely is, or this that, but it's definitely one of the most mature groups of seniors, but uh, you know that I've ever seen from a just from a leadership standpoint. But it definitely starts out with our senior quarterback Matt Nichols. He's he's had as good an off season as um, as I've seen out of a quarterback. I mean, just everything he's done, his preparation and film work, all the way back to February, March. Uh, changing his body, weight room, speed training, everything he's done, and that's been great to see. Uh, on defense, well, you know, our linebacking crew, which consists, uh, you know, veteran-wise, consists of Makai Borden and J.C. Sherritt, you know, stand out as a couple guys that have been Makai a senior and J.C. a junior that have that have led the charge there. Our defense is going to be a little younger, but we do still have a veteran group of linebackers right there in the middle. So they'll, uh, they've done a great job leading the group and all the way through the summer, even when we can't be around. You know, Coach, when you look at your lineup, you've definitely built this squad for a lot of speed from what it looks like. Was that by design, or did you absorb some of that from the previous? A combination of both. You know, it, it's uh, when I was here before as an assistant, that's when some of these guys came in. You know, when Coach Wolf was recruiting, and I was part of the, you know, the coaching staff as an assistant. And then, and then since then, we've continued to do that. I mean, it's no, it's no secret. I don't think any coach in America is, is uh, you know, per, doesn't have speed is, is probably their number one priority when they're out there recruiting you know as, as far as the physical tools I mean aside from the character stuff and be the right fit and, and that stuff but uh, when you're looking for you know it, it wins ball games I mean you know it's the old it's the old saying but it's true I mean speed wins and and uh, we're going to continue to try and do that as best we can and uh, we are we're, we're never the biggest team in the world but if we can if we can be quicker and I'll play you um, then, then we've got a shot yeah, across this country right now, from all the coaches we spoke to, a lot of coaches have made the choice of picking less giant individuals, not just size, but the fact that their weight, they're not over 300 pounds, they're maybe 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, but they can actually run a 40 at a decent time. You don't have to time it on a minute hand <laughs> to watch those guys run across. But it just seems like the whole world in Michigan, we've got the huge controversy with Rodriguez out here. Um, it's just, like you said, it is the speed. But there's more to it than just speed. There's a lot of other angles that you have to watch out for as a head football coach when you've got your squad setting up and getting ready for game day. And what are those you look for in an individual? Well, I mean, it's first off, I mean, if you go all the way back to when we're recruiting kids, we're looking for the right fit to our program. And when I say right fit, it's it's right fit to what we're doing offensively, or what you know whatever position we're trying to fit them in, you know, or defensively. Where where's the right fit? Who's a who's a will linebacker in our system? You know, that's what we'll look at. Where someone might be a great football player in high school, but they may not fit our system and whatever we're doing. You know, whether it's safety linebacker, you know, weak side defensive end, whatever that might be. And then you're also looking for that right fit 
just from a character standpoint on your team and just are they going to make it in the city you live in i mean it sounds like a goofy thing but we recruit a lot of areas just based solely on if we think a kid can come out of that area and make it in cheney washington and that's where we're located about 15 15 miles southwest of spokane um spokane's a you know deep good sized city in washington but cheney itself is a small town so that's, you know, there's certain things that we're looking for when I go all the way back to fitting in, you know, fitting with the team and what we're looking for because we have. We've recruited guys that are very talented, this, that, or the other, and they get here and they just, you know, they can't handle being here or living here just because it's a, it's a big difference from their culture. So there's a lot of those little things you definitely look at and make sure that that word is used a lot, the right fit to our team. Yeah, and it has to be you know particular for individuals. We have students right here that are getting approved to go to University of Michigan to play football, and they're opting out for much smaller campus size because that's what they want. You've got other kids that aren't happy with the campus size and want to go to a big school, and that's got to be a juggling act for a coach every year is because you just sometimes assume that, you, that an athlete realizes where they want to go and where they want to play. And when they get to your campus, you probably have to roll your eyes at a couple of the kids when they walk on and they don't realize what they don't realize. Yeah, they do. Um, and you're basically asking that, that sometimes sometimes you get guys on campus and it's a, either a shock to them, they still don't know what they're getting into. Is that what you're saying, Bo? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, no question. And that's what you have to be careful about in recruiting. You have to make sure. And, I, and I'm all right. I'd rather have a, you know, I sometimes I think those those when you get when you develop that relationship in recruiting then that player is he's either scared to say no to you or doesn't want to hurt your feelings it's just that and i'm like you know say it you know we're gonna at the end when we're signing guys we want to sign guys that want to be here and we definitely and then it's recruited walk on same thing we want to bring in players that want to be here so and i tell guys that if this doesn't feel like the right fit to you when you come on a campus visit and when you're around it and you've looked at the campus and just the size of it and everything this doesn't feel like right fit just say it right away so we can move on in recruiting and you can move on um <laughs> makes it so, so much we, easier we run into that where it's uh, because it's not it's not for everyone i don't get caught up in you know i mean obviously recruiting's competitive and it's frustrating when you recruit you know hard for a long time especially for the assistants when they lose that guy right at the end or this that but you know what you're going to probably lose more in the long run than you're going to get when it's all said and done, number of kids you've talked to, you know, on the phone, you know, you're gonna you're gonna end up talking to a lot more than actually sign with you. And you just got to move on and you know, find the guys that want to be here. Well, it makes it a whole lot easier. For example, when you have a senior class as large that graduates the following year, you've got to have some new blood that believes in this team, believes in the mindset and understands what the goals are because you're going to have at least one or two seasons that are tough before you're able to put the right people in the right spot. And especially out in Washington, you've got so much on the table now. You've got some juggernauts that are going to be coming into your house. And those students have to understand when they start becoming sophomores and juniors that you know they've been through the hard stuff. Now it's time for them to shine. And I think a lot of students who don't believe in a, in a coaching staff or in a philosophy will wind up hurting the t- 